Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever it is for you. I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for clicking on this video because you didn't have to, but you did. So I want to say I appreciate that you did that. And also, because I appreciate that you did that, send this video down the line. Send it to a friend or somebody. Let them know that I appreciate that they clicked on the video too. Right? Because what I'm going to talk about today is the fact that there's really, there's no easy way out. There's no easy way out. Right? You should never... You should never try to take the easy way out in anything in life. All right? Easy come, easy go. There's a song by Wiz Khalifa. I think it was um, Work Hard, Play Hard. And he said, um, I think it's the chorus, like, the bigger the bill, the harder you ball. The bigger the bill, the harder you ball. I'm throwing mine because my money long. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, every thing we do is big or something like that. Anyway, so I wanted to reference that because easy come, easy go. When something comes easy, it's either one or two things. <clears throat> it's too good to be true, or it ain't gonna last. I saw a mosquito try to try to get him. Anyway, right? No easy way out. A lot of times when we run into problems, difficulties, issues. We want to just throw up our hands and say, man, fuck this, man. I don't feel like dealing with that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeling this. You know what I mean? Get an attitude, get angry. Want to fight, fuss, and cuss, whatever. That's, that's never a good attitude to have. If as soon as something doesn't go your way or things didn't turn out how you hoped, expectations, you know what I mean? It'll, it'll ruin, it'll ruin you. It'll ruin your perspective, it'll ruin everything because you just, you think that everything's supposed to go your way. You think that the world revolves around you. You know what I mean? Those Karens online are quickly finding out that that's not the case. Just because your parents never told you no don't mean we gonna say yes. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's being spoiled. That's being spoiled. You know what I mean? You don't you don't have to be a rich white girl to be spoiled. <laughs> There's plenty of young black kids that are spoiled. There's plenty of people in the world that are spoiled. Or taking a step further, entitled. You know what I mean? That's why I'm saying there's there's no easy way out, bro. There's no there's no easy way to break it to you. There's no easy way to get rich quick. There's there's nothing's easy. Anything worthwhile is not easy. A woman that you want to marry and build a life with, more than likely, if you have that lifestyle you wanted with that woman, more than likely, the the um the wooing process, the getting to know her, the building a bond wasn't easy. You know what I'm saying? Unless y'all knew each other as kids growing up. And it was just like, 
y'all grew up together, so y'all kind of base y'all opinions and lifestyle off of one another and what y'all both like. But anyway. Most of us, we want things to be easy. We want things to be easy. But the reality is life is hard. Life is hard for the average person. It really is. And the reason why it is hard because this is a game of survival of the fittest. That's what this is. You look at nature, you look at the animal kingdom. It's survival of the fittest. Only the strong survive. Now, the way the world is today, at least in our society, our civilization, our simulation, We, I kind of lost my train of thought, but we try to make things easy and make things simple instead of just doing the hard work. Let me tell you why it's good to do things that are difficult. I'm going to give you my testimony. You know what I'm saying? I'm not stupid at all. But there are times when you may think that I'm slow. Right? It always happens. It always happens. Because sometimes when people say things... I'm not really sure what they mean. And that's because when when you say something to me, I'm trying to think of all the possible things you could mean when you say that. So if you say something to me and I ask you a question regarding the statement that you said or question or whatever, it'll help, it'll help. If you answer it honestly, it'll help me It'll help me um, better understand myself and you and communication as a whole, right? Not everybody thinks, thinks and learns the same exact way. Some people need the hard lessons to really learn stuff. That's, that's, that's me. That's me. Growing up, I was a hard-headed, little mischievous <laughs> A little something, man, but I've 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 become a lot more humble as the years go on, you know. Because I always I made I made things in my life more difficult than they needed to be. And it's usually a subconscious thing. I just do it subconsciously. Like I go for what may seem difficult first before the easy, easy stuff. It's good and bad. I'm going to tell you why. It's good because if you can learn the complex things first, the easier things, is, is, it's just all downhill. Once you do the hardest thing, everything else is just a breeze, right? But when you do that, you bypass and miss fundamentals and basics because you're going to advance things sometimes you overlook the simple things and people might think you stupid like how could you miss that that's so you know that's so simple but that's because your mind well i'm gonna say my mind i can't say my that's because my mind wants to look at the most complex thing and understand the most complex thing first you know and in doing that I skip, I skip the basic, the early, the baby steps. So instead of walking and then running or, or crawling and then walking and then running, 
it's like, I ain't do none of that. I just started flying. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like, yo, this nigga ain't crawl walking. He just started flying. Like, he a little shaky with it, but he, okay, he flying. You know what I mean? We about to get get up from out of here. We gonna do a little walk and talk. Um, yeah, so going back to no easy way out. The um the way that the way that we damn I'm sorry. The way that the way that we interpret things, you know what I mean? We we wanna interpret things and understand things because it makes life what? Easy or easier. Right? You have you have in this day and age so many things at your disposal to make life easier. But a lot of people make life harder. What you mean, huh? What you mean they make life harder? I'll tell you. Sometimes when you go against the grain, meaning... Doing things that may ruffle feathers, doing things that may put you in situations that could get you in trouble, you know, or just, you know, just always having conflict with others. I, um, I find myself Distancing myself from people because it makes life easier. Even though the title of the video is There's No Easy Way Out. There actually is. But it's only after you've taken the difficult path. What the hell are you talking about? You just contradicted yourself. No, look deeper. Look deeper, right? Like I said earlier, when you take the difficult path first, understanding everything else makes makes everything moving forward easier. All right? When you take the difficult path first, like when I play video games, I'll give you an example, God of War. God of War. The the one where he went to well the one that started in um, the Norse mythology area, the, 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 damn, they talking shit over there. But yeah, so that game was extremely difficult on God of War mode. Like, it was like one of the most difficult games that I ever had the pleasure of completing. I didn't 100% it, like I didn't get all the Valkyries or whatever, but I completed that game right on the hardest setting i didn't change the settings and the reason why the reason why i like to play video games on the hardest setting is because that's the true experience of that game the developers and designers and uh people who who, who built the architecture and foundation and mechanics in that game they they wanted it to be played a certain way right and if you put it on the hardest setting, that's your ex that's your you're playing the true game. If you play on anything other than the hardest setting, you're not playing the true game. You're not. So, if you like video games like I do, play every just start playing every video game on the hardest setting. If you play fighting games, fight the computers on the hardest setting. You know what I mean? Fight do everything on the hardest setting because after you do the the most difficult parts the hard parts 
It makes everything else moving forward simpler, easier. You know what I mean? Man, she, man, she got fight I ain't gonna show y'all cause this ain't, you know what I'm saying? This ain't, this ain't, this ain't that type of party. <laughs> and remember, I told y'all in the other video, we gotta conquer our lust. All right? I'm just gonna keep walking. I don't wanna be around football practice. Kids having football practice or something. I don't know, I ain't really paying attention. Young boy riding his bike, having a good time. Yeah, man. We outside, man. It's good to be outside. It's good to be outside. It's good to show your face. It's good to show your style. You know what I mean? I'm going to cop a squat somewhere and continue uh, continue the discussion. All right? So what was, I, what was I saying? What was I saying? I think I was saying... Right back to it. Yeah, difficulty. 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 Right? I, like I said before, I, the reason why I play things, play video games on the hardest difficulty setting is because that's the true game. That's the true story. That's the true experience. If you can't beat God of War on the hardest difficulty setting, you can't compete with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even trying to be arrogant or nothing. You can't compete with me in no video game. Maybe, maybe Call of Duty, because I don't really play shooter games like that. But you can't beat me in no type of strategy game, no type of fighting game, <laughs> no type of racing game. Because my mind is always going to be like two, three steps ahead of you. Right? Another thing, right? I had got locked up because I did some real dumb shit. I'm not going to tell y'all what I did. But I had got locked up and I ended up... Staying in jail for like three months. Right? In those three months, I played I played a whole lot of chess. Right? There was this guy that I played. And for the longest time, I could not take a game off of this man, bro. Like, anybody I ever played, like, I right, lose one, win one, win one, win one, lose one, lose one. You know what I mean? Bro, I would just keep losing back to back to back to back to back. Shout out to the nigga Prospect, man. That's that's who I was playing chess with. I don't know if he's still in there. But if you seen this video, man, shout out to you. I enjoyed every single game we played, bro. I ain't never felt so stupid in my life, bro. But long story short, man, if we played like, I don't know, like 70 games of chess, bro, I only won like two. <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm saying is, even if it's difficult, even if it seems impossible, just keep trying. Just keep trying, man. Just keep trying, bro. So when I when I first caught that win, I tried my damnedest. I tried my damnedest to hold it in, bro. I, I couldn't. I tried, bro. I literally almost cried. Like, he like, Hawk, what's like, what, bro? What's wrong with you, man? I'm like, yo. This game, it had me second guessing how smart I thought I was this whole time. Like, bro, you don't know how stupid I felt. You know what I'm saying? Thinking I'm making a smooth move. And nigga be like, nah, bro. Go ahead. Let me get that knight. Let me get that pawn. Oh, shit. You gonna leave your queen right there, bro? What's wrong with you? Yeah. So, so like, it was one of the very few times in my life where I came across somebody who was, well, way, way more advanced than I was at critical thinking. It humbled me, right? But when I got my first win, I was overjoyed to the point where it may look like sorrow to 
somebody else. Right? That you 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 have to experience that feeling. If you've never experienced a triumphant moment, it's because you want things to be easy. You don't want to do the hard work. You don't want to do the things that may seem difficult. You know? And that's okay if you want to be mediocre. You know? And there's nothing wrong with being mediocre. There's nothing wrong with being average, even though mediocre and average are not the same thing. Okay? There's there's nothing wrong with not being a superstar. There is nothing wrong with not being that guy. You can just be a simple, regular dude or a simple, chill, humble lady. Or whatever you want to be. Gotta remember what times we in. Hey. <laughs> when you. When you realize that. Life isn't fair. You know. Nothing's going to be easy and nobody's coming to save you. You appreciate it. Like, the longer you can withstand and endure and go through the things that are difficult, when you come out on that other side, man, you feel like you, feel like you went super saiyan or something. It's like, wow, I didn't know I could have power like this. I didn't know. I could have insight like this. I didn't know I could have control like this. And when I say control, I'm only talking about control over oneself. You know, your desires, your emotions, and your impulses. Right? In life, you're going to run into a lot of brick walls. Wow! You're going, you, <laughs> you're going to run into a lot of brick walls. But guess what? You run into enough brick walls, you're going to start getting like the juggernaut. Your body just, your body and your mind just going to be conditioned to just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> dish, out, dish out the damage after taking it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you got that elastic recoil. You got that, you know what I'm saying, that. That supreme toughness. Anybody ever played um, a game? No. I'm going to give you. Anybody ever played Super Smash Brothers? I think it might have been. Well, any of the ones after Melee. There's certain characters or certain attacks that have, quote unquote, super armor. So your attacks don't make them flinch. So imagine somebody's charging up something in their hand, right? And you just wailing on them in their face. Pop, 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 pop. They not flinching. They not moving. They not budging. And then, and then the, the powerful attack just take you out. Right? That's what, that's what happens when you just keep, when you just keep going through that pain. And you, you, it's like you, you bull those, you bull those through it. I almost got tongue twisted there. It's like you. Instead of running into brick walls, you running through them. Boom, 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 boom. Like sometimes you, sometimes it's almost as if you just gotta keep smashing your head. I mean, keep keep smashing your head against that wall until it breaks. Like I don't mean actually bang your head up against the wall, but that's what it feels like when you're you. You're doing something that don't feel like you're progressing. Like, I know y'all probably seen that picture of the guy. Like, it's it's a, a mean picture. It's got a top and a bottom picture. It's a guy, like, mining or he's got a pickaxe and he's picking through, like, a cave to get to some diamonds. And he's, it's like, he's right, like, an inch, an inch off of getting to the diamonds. 
and he just gives up and walks away, right? Put my phone down. I think a lot of us do that. We be, we be, we be this close. We be right there. And we just say, oh, fuck it. I don't feel like it no more. I'm tired. I don't feel like, I don't feel like going through this. I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like, you know, I just don't feel like it. Man. I just don't feel like it no more. Right? And it be like, if you could probably see from where the creator stand, he's like, mm. all the things they've been asking me for, been crying out, praying, and they were right there. Just couldn't, just couldn't, just couldn't make it through that last mile. So, before I finish the video and leave you to your thoughts, try doing more difficult things if you want life to be easier. That's what the lesson for today is. Doing things that are difficult makes life easier. So, begin to challenge yourself. Like, oh, I don't feel like doing it. That's the best time to do something. And you don't feel like doing it. Yes, indeed, man. I hope that today's been a good day for you. I hope that you're enjoying life. Hope that you're learning. Hope that you're growing. And I hope that you're sharing because sharing is caring. Now, if you made it to the end of this video, look at one person in your contact list or your social media DMs. Share the video. Who knows? They might be glad you did. Professor Hawk signing out. Class is dismissed.